How do everyone? This is Big Stew from OMG and Sun, and this is my good friend Flat Cap Dam. So welcome back, guys, after our first couple of days in the forest. So let's put some food on the fire after our first night and get fed and watered. Oh. Now I'm getting good with this. Let's see if we can. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I've put Wonderful some thing delusion. So I've popped some food on the fires, so they should be ready to eat. Nice one. There we go. That's me full, and I will all be. Well, it's not ideal. I will go and use this pond to drink. So that's one of the missions that I think we should do for today, is explore till we find a camp with a cooking pot. Mm. So we can drink without feeling like we're going to be poisoned, like my character might have just been when he started coughing then. This is the yep, point where I'm I start infected. to regret having that poo in here before. <laughs> so we've got a base, so now it would be a good time to potentially look at... Going to try and find a camp. I did notice a camp over over the water. Close to where we were. So I think well, let's see if we can figure out where it was. Near the fire that I did try to build that we do need to take away at some point. Yeah. I, actually I don't mind things like that because it feels like really cheap to build uh waypoints. <laughs> I'll just have a quick look up here, because I'm pretty sure it was up here somewhere. Yeah, I t tell you what, let's quickly split up, canvas the area and see if we can find anything. And I'll yeah. quickly gather a couple of sticks as well. Like every good horror game, the best idea is to split up. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? I, I've mm. already been found. Are you joking? Nope. <laughs> There's nothing to see here, cannibals. I've <laughs> just managed to get away for free on that. Three of them have just run past me quite sneakily. You right, let's go the opposite way to them. <laughs> yeah, so I on forgot what happens when you die. They usually drag you into a, a cave, don't they, and string you up to make tasty, tasty snacks out um, of you. I don't know, because I've, we've been playing co-op on a couple of my other playthroughs, which has meant that what we've ended up doing is, if we've died, one of us has come to the rescue. <laughs> right, yeah. So I'm just going around the sinkhole to the right hand side to see what I can find. Cause Ooh, because what, what we're found looking some for more uh, luggage. Ooh, because what we're looking for is a metal cooking pot. And what you can do is you can collect water and cook it on a fire, and it takes it from polluted water to clean water, so you don't infect yourself like I've handily done here. If I go to my inventory and stats, infected, less than ideal. Mm. And then, as a expansion to that, is if you get craft yourself a oh hello, I may be onto something here. Just found a camp, cannibal camp, but oh dear. <laughs> Where have you gone? <laughs> Ooh. Where have you gone? Sneaky man. So I did find some sleeping cannibals. <laughs> Don't whatever you do, wake them up. Um, too late. <laughs> okay. Um, one of them's dead. <laughs> oh, I found a camp. Ooh. Is that where you are? No, I'm just... Uh, so whereabouts are you? No, I'm in a very, very different camp. I'll do a recce anyway. Oh! Now this is interesting. There's quite a few different... What are they? I have found a, camp, a cave entrance, so I'll mark this for later. I'll 
change that to blue, so I'll mark caves with blue. Okay then. Oh, I thought I found what I was after then. Ooh, found a new clothing outfit. The fashionable survivalist. <laughs> So I'm actually going to keep exploring into the forest to see if I can find something. My trusty bow and arrow. I could really Ooh, found a load of fish. Ooh, some of my meat in my inventory is spoilt, so I'll get rid of that. Yeah, I don't know. Can't seem to figure out where the aim reticle should be. Yeah, it does take a little bit of getting used to. Drink from the rather worried cannibal river. <laughs> I'm already infected, so what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> you never know, it might make you so ill it makes you better. That's how medicine works, isn't it? <laughs> oh, blue bridge. Of them. So the other thing to do is using rabbit fur, which is why it's so valuable as well, is you can make a pouch to carry with berries around as well. So if you can find a patch of blueberries, it means you've almost got, a, not unlimited is the wrong word, but a rather convenient top up of water well, here's a and food. Thing. I've found some tents with what looks like things for catching fish and a fine collection of Bibles. Ooh, I'll come over to you, that sounds worryingly interesting. <laughs> <laughs> of course the tents are impenetrable. Hello, sneaky lizard. <laughs> oh, my stick's fallen into the ground. <laughs> Only have a certain amount of use, is there something? What, your... Your spear? Spear. I wouldn't be able to tell you, to be honest. No, I just saw it fall through the scenery and now it's gone. Oh. Made a new one. Ooh, three bone. Was it? Right. I want a bit of clear area so I can farm some Ooh. rabbits. Oh, I found Oops. another yeah. cannibal camp. I think this might have been the one we found we went past earlier. I think it is. I do remember is there was lots of rabbits around here. Ooh, I found a treasure photo. Ooh. No idea where that is. Where is that gonna be? Found another cave entrance. Come here, you bloody rabbit. There you go. That wasn't too hard, was it? Sorry, little rabbit. But you're valuable. <laughs> yeah. Come on, are you all the way on the other shoreline? Yeah. This is where the I'm where the Bibles were. I'm just working my way around to you. Just avoiding a patrol. 
Nothing to see here. Just a man covered in lizard skin. Hunting rabbits. Come here, rabbits. <laughs> I want to touch you. <laughs> With my stick. Uh. <laughs> there we go, that's three rabbits. Oh, that's not a, that's not a rabbit, that's a squirrel. <laughs> My bad. Oh, you're not rabbits. Oh god. We brought friends. Yeah. Aha. Headshot. Don't mind me. So there was three. There's now two. And two have run away. So that's a result. So yeah, if you craft... Ah, what do I want more? Stick bag, I think. So I want three cloth, two rope, and oh, rabbit got skin. Company. Just over the river. Yeah, it's alright, you... It's alright, I've crafted three. one. They're coming in hot. Hello. There we go. Your upgraded spears just here. Thank you. Right then. Oh, got a body each and all. Get more bones. How far away from it? Oh, miles. Are we? Oh, hang on. Yeah, I think we just keep going across the. Going back, maybe. Expl have you explored that other camp? Yeah, you there's nothing there. That's close to where they found the uh, prison. Uh, the picture that looked like uh, treasure. There was a X marks a spot on it. Oh! More luggage. Oh, nice done on the deer. Oh, flares and arrows. Oh, you might go. Lots of flares. Now then, how do you make a bow? Is it rope and some sticks? Uh, it's rope, stick, and cloth. I think if you put a stick in, it should give you the the recipe. Oh. And more luggage over here. There we go. So yeah, I'm just going to go to this cannibal camp that you've been to. Say again, sorry? I'm just going to go to this little cannibal camp that you've been to. Yep. <laughs> oh no. That's a bit grim. The uh, trophy of a, a deer head. Just stood up on its own. <laughs> Change my clothes. And did you say there were some pictures over in this camp with the Bibles? Yes. Oh, my fish are spoilt. Oh well. There's another camp over here as well. Let's 
not a camp. It's another one of those um, sets of tents. Ah, okay. Did you find the picture? I'm just crossing over now. So I take it that even though it's multiplayer, the, the loot is unique. If I pick up a picture, you're going to be able to find, find the picture yes, as well. Yes, it shares it. There's also a cave entrance just next to this little camp as well. Oh, did I miss it? Bulky. There we go. Marked. What I'm actually going to do quickly, which is a little bit cheeky and quite early, is I'm going to go and... What do I have food-wise? Let's have a couple of snacks. Is I'm going to go and try and find a boar. And maybe a raccoon or two. Mm. God, it's fascinating this game. I don't know why, but it just feels so nice to be exploring. It just it's got that feel to it. I don't know why. But it always terrified me, the cave systems. I always was very reluctant to go in the cave systems. Oh, I think we should explore in. So tomorrow, I reckon, so, so the sun is starting to drop in the sky, so I think we slowly make our way back home. Yeah, I'm on my way. Because we have separated, which isn't too bad at this stage in the game. <laughs> I'm not too far away from our abode either, so it's not that bad. If you come down to the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get your head kicked in. <laughs> There's quite a few bits of fresh water knocking about, which is pleasant. Yeah, so all we need to do is find a pan so we can um, boil it so it's not polluted. I'm not far away at all, so I think what we do tomorrow is, what should we do? Should we work on our base, or shall we work on exploring the cave system? Well, I don't, I don't think the base will take us very, very long because there's plenty of trees about, isn't there? Yeah, and there's plenty so, of sticks to have you, so we can do both probably. What, what we might be best doing is while we've got daylight going exploring, and when it gets to about this time, come back and start working on. On our base. The tricky thing is, is if you look, at, if you go to your booklet with B, hmm. is if you go to the right, right-hand page, middle tab, you actually have your stats, and if you don't sleep, you lose your sanity. No, I don't mean don't sleep. I mean we go to sleep, but first light, we have something to eat, ah, go exploring, and then when it gets to around this time, start heading back. Mm-hmm. Um, and start building or building upon what we've got. Mm -hmm. So, how big a base do you fancy making, and how do you? Do you I'm want, not sure to be honest. Do you want to make it like a platform base that you access from up here, or do you want to make it accessible from the beach? I'm all for glitching it so that we, if we can, it's on the water, and we have to swim to get to it, so that it's. Not going to be so able to be attacked. Building. Do we want it at water level, or do you want it high up, so like you know the cliff just above us? Do you want a, like a bridge going from that? Hmm. If you excuse the pond, pond will cross that bridge when we get to it. I think. I think it's. Well, the uh, thing is, you you make the foundation. You can have use this custom buildings now. Oh right. So we can the. I will tell you what we'll do. We'll make it at just above sea level. Yeah, and then we will can always make a first floor above. Because this will take quite a bit of logs. Those red bushes over there are very vibrant. So I'd rather us build a base that's way too big than too small. Okay. 
if that doesn't sound too ambitious. I'm really hoping that there's no more alligators in this lake. <laughs> <laughs> they were crocodiles. Oh, one of them trees is moving. That's weird. A tree is moving on its own. I don't know whether that means you're going to have company or not, but it is getting pretty dark. Yeah, we'll be able to sleep shortly. So. There we go. So this is going to be a little bit ambitious, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure you won't mind. Nope. What is it you're doing now? Are you so you will see in a second, yeah. Oh my god, the mountains behind There you go. Have you seen those mountains? Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh my word. Could we not so build a big one? <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought, considering there's two of us, oh, we might yeah. be. And there's loads of logs about. We can make a start on it now. Tricky bit it. Oh bugger, have I made this too far into the water? I think I may have. Oh! Yes. Oh Christ! I may have balls this up. Trod on the fire. <laughs> There's some food on here, by the way. Not that we need it, I shouldn't have thought. Just need a bit of foundation towards the thing, don't we? So let me rescue our logs and then I will re I'll relay that out. So shall we? We can't sleep for the night, so. Oh! So. What's that? How long have we got to sleep? I'll tell you what. I'm just going to quickly. Storage. R log sled. could possibly go wrong exploring in the pitch darkness. Because <laughs> we really do need a way of actually sorting ourselves out with water. I think we need to sort that out before we do anything else really. Yeah. Which I do think there is a way. So in the direction of all of our cave markers there is a on the south coast there is a place that will give us what we want. So what I'm doing is I'm just quickly crafting, it. Oh, I will look at crafting some log sleds, so once we're catching, tr oh, collecting some trees and logs, we can bring the logs more efficiently back to base. Yes, good old log sleds. Oh. I don't like that, you have to wait 24 hours to sleep, it's almost there. Cannibals, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like one of them. <laughs> well, that reminds me, I've got some orange style fizzy liquid, the off brand Tango, <laughs> from a very, very famous supermarket. I get grateful when you need to practice your show burps. Oh, pardon me.
These seagulls are a glutton for punishment. <laughs> so, are we able to sleep? We are, yes. Right. Zed. It's day two. Right, shall we... Well, first of all, let's... Where are our fires? Let's take the logs off the fire. <laughs> yeah, I'll eat some of this uh, food on this one. Um, if it's... Oh, oh it does still... I, f I didn't realise it still actually helped you, even though it's... What I'm going to do is there's some blueberry bushes just up here. And then shall we go on our, vent our quest for... Pan again. I think we should, we should, but I think we'll pause it here, stop the video here, because that's a, a fairly lengthy one. And that was day two. We need to mark these up. Day one, day two, etc. and etc. So, yes, yeah, the quest oh. continues. My word. That shadow moved into place very, very quickly. <laughs> wow. Right. This is Big Stew, the dirty, dirty mongrel for OMG and Son. Oh. And this is Oops. Flat Cap Dam, with the Glutton for Punishment Seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come here, you. Right, I'll see you all soon. Thank you very much for tuning in. Smash that like, as the kids say, on YouTube. And we'll see you very, very soon indeed. Take care, guys.